So what's the story behind the circular garage? Well, this garage is only 12 years old. Oh. So it's uh, supposed to be somewhere else. It's 12 years old, but it looks, yeah. new. It looks new. Yeah, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me. So it was first on uh, somewhere else at the campus, but it's still a very functional building. Mm. So we decided to put it here. Yeah, so it's real reuse of a building. You, yes. took, you took an old building down that was already used mm -hmm. for many years mm -hmm. and reassembled it here for a new use. Yeah. Okay, I get it. So well, how does that contribute to the reuse loop in a circular economy. How does that work? You reuse the whole building instead of all the different parts. Mm -hmm. So the building you see behind us is the same building, it's the same uh, structure as it was before. Okay, so the base is the same, but the building's moved. Yes, it is. Okay. So what's the main challenges of such a project when compared to say, if you just said, let's build a new building here, mm -hmm. what's, the, what's the challenges? Well, the main challenge is that this building was not designed to rebuild it again. Ah. So parts of the building couldn't be reused again. Ah. So for example, the foundation of the building, but also the roof, yeah. we couldn't rebuild it again. So the foundation is new yeah, and the roof, the roof is new yes. because it wasn't designed right in the first place yes. for reuse. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Well, what opportunities does it give you to reuse a building? Does it, like, is it lower cost or...? Well, that, that's still, we're still researching that. Okay. So we're just trying it out mm. because we think that if you want to uh, de develop something, if you want to learn, you, you should do it. Mm. Um, so here we're working together uh, with students and they are addressing the, those kind of questions. Oh, that was with the Hague University of Applied Science. Yes, exactly. Oh, that's yes. a nice partnership. Yes. So we use, we're working with students to understand how does this work when we move buildings like this? Yes, exactly. How does it, yes. Okay, I get it, that's really cool. And you, you mentioned about the design of the building with the roof and the floor, mm -hmm. but was there anything about the design of the parts that you could reuse which allowed them to be reused? What was it about those? Well, most of the parts could be easily reused again okay. uh, because the material is very easy, so it's mostly steel. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the components you use to um, to install them, to connect them together, yeah. they were not always uh, designed to be reused again. But so we asked all the companies working on this project to think about different things they can do better. Okay. Uh, so the idea is that if this building is done yeah. and uh, in the future we want to rebuild it again, yeah. it's possible. Ah, so you've done some modification yes, for did. design for reuse. Yes. Okay, yes. That's, that's why it's an interesting research project. 